morning guys it's the second day in copenhagen and we're on our way to the neighborhood i think <laughs> hi. Say hi i made friends <laughs> on this little solo trip so we're all just going there um to do some sneaky business it's really really beautiful today so i i'm really glad because yesterday was a kind of sprinkling rain Sunny Thursday, a few of us headed out into the city to do some sightseeing, with our first destination being the Christianshavn neighborhood. I met Manon, who was one of my roommates in the hostel, and tagged along with her and her group of exchange friends who were studying in Uppsala, Sweden. We passed by the Christiansborg Palace and the huge courtyard it sits in, so we decided to walk around the same grounds that many former and current politicians walked while we were there. We just so happened to arrive at the palace tower when it opened, which led us to the top where we saw the stunning views of Copenhagen from above. I've always loved how unique the rooftops look to each city. Split up with the rest of the group in the afternoon so I could continue with my own itinerary. After climbing all those stairs and walking a good chunk of the city, I was really craving a coffee and some downtime. One of my favorite things to do when traveling is to try as many coffee shops as I deem to be reasonable, so after purchasing a ticket for a boat tour later in the day, I spent some time at this cafe reflecting on my exchange experience up until this point. I wanted to cement my thoughts into words so I could look back and appreciate all the ups and downs I experienced having been away from home for several months already and now being in the middle of Copenhagen alone. It's alright. It was the dragons were going to scare the flames away. Well, you might think that's a little silly. I realized early into my travels that if you have time to kill, booking a guided tour is a great way to learn about the ins and outs of a city from a local, who often has great suggestions for restaurants to try and things to do nearby. It's also a fun way to meet other travelers of all ages who come from incredibly diverse backgrounds.
canal tour and it was a lot of fun. It was around an hour long, but I got to see a lot of Copenhagen that I don't think I would have seen otherwise because I don't think I would have walked that far. The tour guide is really cool. He gave us a lot of interesting information about like the history of Copenhagen as well as um, some of the significance of the buildings that we passed. So it was nice to kind of get a crash course as opposed to like me not understanding or me like reading signs and stuff like that. We got to see the Little Mermaid from the boat. I'm just at this museum now. I'm um, about to go in with my Copenhagen card. I'm excited to see this one because the tour guide did recommend it. And after that, I think we're gonna go to the market. park tourist attraction situation it comes with the copenhagen card so i just walked in and i watched a little skeleton show is what they called it after going to the canal tours i went to the glass market that Alyssa suggested she lives a 40 minute train right here so she said that she's been here like twice already so um she gave me some recommendations about what to do so i went to the little market that was like made out of glass and it was so cute there was like food fresh produce flowers i finally got the open face sandwich i have no idea how to pronounce it in danish it was really good it was really yummy and i also noticed that things here are very costly i have been spending a lot here despite my efforts to try to save money actually i'm not trying very hard i did get two coffees today when i didn't really need to get two but i wanted to and then I headed to some thrift stores. I guess now it's nine. I lied. It's like 8.45. Back to the point, went thrifting. I found some cool pieces actually. I didn't end up buying anything because the stores were closing. I didn't want to make any rash decisions. There definitely were some cute things. I might go back tomorrow if they're open just because it's Good Friday tomorrow. I'm not too sure if they will be open. But I got another pastry for breakfast tomorrow. I also got walk box, which my friend from high school recommended um i haven't spoken to her in so long but i saw that she was in denmark around a week ago and i was like please give me recommendations and <laughs> she told me to go to walkbox so had a nice lovely mandarin conversation with the with the chef there you know um it was a very casual dining experience it wasn't anything crazy but yeah it was nice to eat some chinese food i think i'm just gonna walk around until it's 9 30 and 9 30 there's like a light show in the tipoli garden so and while i'm waiting for the light show to start i figured i would reflect on my trip here i think solo tripping to copenhagen was the perfect decision it's such an amazing city it's so walkable everyone's so friendly and um, a lot of them do understand english so it's easy to navigate and get around as well i think i definitely chose the right city and i'm super glad i made some friends within my hostel that i could do stuff with i'm just very happy to be here i'm taking some time whenever i can to sit down and just like think it's nice to just have that moment to myself 